going to talk about uh, housebound agoraphobia. Um, you, I'm going to try to keep my thoughts as clear as possible. Um, it's really hard because it's kind of a long process, but um, I'll try my best and not be all over the place. Um, so I guess the first question would be, what is housebound agoraphobia? Um, I have mentioned it in another video. Um, that is my main reason for coming to Medical Medium and for finding solutions. Um, it is the thing that I am trying to cure or get past. Um, I have had housebound agoraphobia for six years. Um, I have not left my home in six years. Um, I struggle with it every day. Um, now, what is housebound agoraphobia? Um, I will put a description up on the screen again, uh, just so that you can actually read it. Uh, the traditional term or description is a fear of open spaces. That's not my experience with it. Um, and there are kind of different levels of it um, and different forms of it. Some people have it where they're bed bound and they can't leave their bedroom. Some people have it where um, they can't open the door and walk outside from their house. Um, and then you have me. Um, I can walk outside. I can be outside. I'm not scared of like physically being outdoors. Um, I am scared of distance though. So different distance away from my safe zone or what I perceive as my safe zone, which is my home. Um, and I've tried leaving, I've tried doing different things, I've tried many different modalities, and nothing thus far has worked. Now, according to Medical Medium, this is heavy metals in my body, um, which causes the phobia. So that's really what I'm focusing on, is heavy metals to see if that can shift, I guess, the feelings inside of me. Um, who does housebound agoraphobia affect? And I would say it could fit, affect absolutely anybody. There might be somebody who is predispositioned because of certain anxiety disorders or something that they may have, but really looking at myself and my past, I would have never thought that this would be something that could hit me. So, um, it is something that affects me every day. It affects the family around me and the people that are around me. Um, it is very difficult being somebody who cannot leave the house. Um, it is something that is very scary and you don't know how you're climbing out of this. Um, I've tried medications, I've tried um, exposure therapy and all of the things that they say work and I personally haven't experienced any success from any of these things. Um, last summer I was doing small car rides um, and I wasn't getting anywhere with it. It's I never hit this level so they say that when you're doing exposure therapy the whole point of exposure therapy is that you are doing something a little bit at a time so that you get to the point where you're gaining confidence. So, you know, you get to the sidewalk or you get to a point in the sidewalk where your anxiety hits, you're supposed to stay in that moment and you're supposed to calm yourself down and then continue on. And from that experience, you are gaining confidence. You are gaining, yes, I did this, I did it, I can do it again. Um, but unfortunately, I wasn't experiencing that. I was not experiencing the confidence. Ever, even if I did something new or did something that was further than what I had done in the past, I still was not getting to the point where I was getting enough confidence to make those steps bigger and grander. So I, I don't know. I don't know what to do now. Um, it affects me every single day. Um, it affects me in the sense that you have guilt. You have guilt every day. Um, you have guilt for yourself and you have guilt for your family because they are there and they are witnessing 
you being in this situation. They're also feeling bad for you and sorry for you and wishing for better things for you and you can't achieve those things so then you feel like you are letting somebody down um, as well as feeling as though that you're letting yourself down so it is a really hard place to be in um so i guess in a sense that affects your your overall outlook on yourself um i still feel like a whole person i still feel I still feel lots of things. I feel normal sometimes. And like, I'm not sitting in a ball of anxiety every day. Personally, that's not my experience with this. If I don't have anything, if I, if I could live my entire life in a home and never leave and never have to do anything and never have, I guess, family around you, I could probably, live anxiety free in that space but that's not a life that's not a life that I want to lead that's not something that I want to continue doing um, you know within the home I don't have anxiety every moment of every day I don't have it actually at all unless um, certain things come up or you also get anxiety because of other people so like because let's just say I don't know, um, anything. Your, your friend comes to talk to you, your mother comes to talk to you, your husband comes to talk to you, and you know, they're going out into the world and they're going out to dinner, or they're going to a movie, or they're going to a shopping center, or all of those things, you know, you feel that because you're like, oh, I wish I could go too. But you can't go because the fear is holding you back. And you know, people are like, oh, don't worry about it. Don't worry about the fear. Don't, you don't understand. Like this is a physical feeling that takes over your entire body. Like, let alone the physical sensations that you're getting because of this, you also have all of the mental, mental repercussions of that. You feel it all. So I don't know. I don't know how, um, that's personally how it affects me. It is something that I've been working on now. Again, it's been six years. This is a very long time to try to work on this. Now, the first several years, I didn't work on it. I, I was honestly waiting for it to go away. Like, I was just literally waiting for it to go away. And it obviously didn't. Now, I believe it's gotten a little bit better since then. There was a time when like even walking out the front door was kind of like a hesitant motion, whereas I don't really have that now. But it is definitely something that um, I still can't go to a store. I still can't go on anywhere or a trip or anything. So um, I just wish that people would understand um, and you know the people around me I feel are I'm grateful for them I'm grateful for them being by my side and being near me and trying to help me to the best of their abilities but really this is this is a me thing this is something that I have to figure out independently um, because even if I try to make one of those people my safe person, what happens when those people aren't around you? So um, I don't think I mentioned that as well. Um, most people who have agoraphobia, or I shouldn't say most, I should say some. Some people who have agoraphobia have safe people. So they have somebody in their life that they are safe, that they have created as their safe person. So they can use their husband, their mother, their child, maybe a close friend, and they make this person, they can go out into the world as long as this one person is with them. And they don't have a problem going out into the world as long as that person is with them. They don't have anxiety, they don't have feelings, but if they try to do it alone, then 
they have all the feelings come up. I personally, um, unfortunately, don't have a safe person. Sometimes I wish that I did, you know, not that their hell is any different than mine, but at least they're able to do some things with their safe person. I don't have that option. It's not something that um, has worked for me. I don't, I don't have a safe person. Um, not that I don't think certain people in my life are safe people or all of the people in my life. It's not like I think somebody's going to come and get me or um, that sort of thing. It's just, I don't know, I guess it's a mental thing. Um, you know, it's very difficult because I have done a lot of research on the topic and you know, agoraphobia isn't necessarily even considered a mental illness. It's not even, it is to some people and it isn't to other people. Some people don't even consider it an illness. Some people consider it a disorder. Um, it's all, some people, it's just a phobia. So, um, unfortunately it is something that I'm working through and I'm trying to work through. I just thought I would give you guys a little bit more of a description and kind of how I experience it. Um, I don't know. I don't know how to get out of it. Um, I have honestly, I feel like I have researched this for months. And I mean like hours upon hours upon hours. Like this is something that I am trying to work through. I have tried. Um, which I have said another post like I have tried everything I've tried CBD oil I have tried and I'm not saying like I tried it for one day like I tried it for three months consecutively I was up to two millimeter two milliliters a day which is like two like that's a fair amount um, and I have tried some essential oils um, I have tried, not all of them, um, I have tried medication, like actual medical medication. So now I'm trying the heavy metal detox smoothie um, with Anthony Williams. Um, he says that phobias are all from heavy metals. Now the one thing that I do feel like is I do feel like this is something that's going to pass in my life. I'm not sure how or when. Um, which is very strange and it's a strange thing to think because it's like this feeling deep down like I'm like this this is something that I'm going to get through um, but like I said I have no idea when or how and how many more years can my life be this so um, I hope that that is a good description of it and how I experience it and I hope that this is helpful for somebody to not feel alone and to not, to understand that there are other people in this world that are going through it. And you know, you may or may not be trying to get out of it. You may have just succumbed to it and been like, you know what, this is my life. I'm going to be agoraphobic for the rest of my life. Um, I choose to not think like that. I choose to think that this is something that I am learning from and that I am going to come out of and that I'm going to be a better person on the other side of this and um, not that I think that I was a bad person before but I do believe that everything in this life happens for a reason and I can't believe that my reason is to be stuck in my house. So with that said, thank you for watching and I hope that this sheds some light on agoraphobia and uh, being housebound. So thanks again. Bye.